So I can't stop talking about this trip to Europe and Germany. And one of the things I did was I actually operated the radio. Yes, our friends from Rodin Schwarz actually gave us time at the microphone. But this contact was quite unusual and it's something I've never done before. Now, you know, I've operated all sorts of radio, but I've never actually made a contact on satellites. And not only that, I've never actually worked the new geostationary satellite, the Q0100, which is only accessible from outside of North America. Yes, and I actually had a chance to operate Q0100. And here is the story of how I did it. In a nutshell, each satellite has what you call an orbital period, where it is the time for it to take one to do one full revolution over the Earth. And here you see you have different classes of satellites. The closer they are to Mother Earth, you'll find that they tend to circle the Earth faster. So you have the low Earth orbit satellites the, like the ISS. You have the medium Earth orbit satellites like Beidou and uh, Galileo and GPS. And then you have the geostationary satellites, which are way up there. Now, the special thing about the geostationary satellites is that they will stay in lockstep to the Earth. They will move with the Earth and they will always appear to be in the same position in the sky. Whereas with the other satellites, such as the ISS and all the other amateur radio satellites, well, they move and you basically only get a small window of time with them, a few minutes actually, and you have to constantly move and track them across the sky. Not so with QO100. QO100 is stationary in the sky and you are able to work the satellite pretty much 24-7, uh, 365, as long as it's not moved out of there through some catastrophic event. We hope not, but otherwise um, it's always there. The only downside is that the satellite has a footprint, which is an area in which the signal can be received above the horizon, where it will appear above the horizon. And in the case of Q0100, that footprint includes Europe, Middle East, where especially where it was um, designed to cover, which includes uh, the state of Qatar, which is in the Middle East, Africa and Europe, and also um, India and Asia, parts of Asia. So it does not cover North America. It does not see Japan, which is unfortunate because um, we would have uh, been making contacts constantly. Oh, well, maybe in the future. I've been hearing rumblings, but uh, we'll talk about that later on. So after leaving uh, Friedrichshafen, we got on the Autobahn and ended up in Munich. And uh, in Munich, in the next day, we actually went to the Road in Schwarz and we did a tour there. I'm going to have all that in another video, but we also went into the station and uh, this is where we went to operate. But first, let me show you the antenna we're using for the QO100. So this is the antenna, as you might see, it's none too special. It actually looks pretty much like a TV dish. And you gotta remember, this, this is a TV satellite that has a transponder being repurposed for amateur radio. So there you see the dish, you see the LNB and the uplink and downlink. And uh, that's all there is to it. It's uh, right there. And they've been doing this since December 2022. Now, as far as the transceiver goes, I will let Michael explain that. He is much better at it than I am. We got to SDR, we have, um, built this box here. Mm. But it's the, the transceiver for Q100. Oh, okay. Um, it's basically, it's an, an other, uh, from analog devices, this other Pluto mm -hmm. SDR. Mm -hmm. um, with a preamplifier, it's also an evil an evaluation board from analog devices, and then a, a power amplifier with 7 mm -hmm. watts at uh, 2.4 gigahertz, and it's the uplink. And for the downlink, um, we have the some 10.5 gigahertz, mm -hmm. and this, uh, the LMB um, translates it to like 750 megahertz, and the Kiwi is also directly mm -hmm. sampling by the Kiwi SDR. So now I get to operate, and you'll see. I did a creative thing to get the audio. You'll see. Right. So here I am operating oh, Q0100. Oh, and you, and, and you? Um, yeah. I don't know how Sorry. I'm getting that. I know what I'll do. I don't want it. So I creative times uh, bring to creative solutions. So what I do is I hook this onto my phone and I record this thing. One, two, three, one, two, three, no. 
One, two, three. Okay, good. Right. So is it is it um, proper etiquette to call like CQ or anything or? Um, usually, um, attuned to a station, there's an ongoing queue so all, but you can run the event lines uh, uh, here. Um, so there is no digi, uh, digi, digi mode, and SSB is up from this. And okay. All, all over the board. So it's just call CQ and go there. Right, okay. Just like Asia. So everybody's there all the time, and there's no sit time. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, this is here now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 10, 6, 8, 5. Alright, so I do 10, 4, 8, 9, 6, 9, 8. I think that's going to be best. Okay, I'll do a little bit here. So here we are on the QO100 satellite. Uh, is a frequency in use? This is Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. I hear my echo. Okay, CQ, CQ, this is Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. I see it coming down. Hmm, already wet left. CQ, CQ, this is Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Romeo Juliet. I might have to scare up some people. Hmm. Everybody disappeared. Did I do something wrong? No, no. <laughs> okay. Intimidated by your awesomeness. See if somebody is there. Okay. CQ, CQ. Hello, CQ. Hello, CQ. This is Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Oh, he's a little off frequency. QRZ, Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet. Ah, Delta Ocean 7, uh, Papa Sugar Lima. This is Delta Lima stroke November to Romeo Juliet from the Roden Schwartz uh, station DL0RUS. Uh, my first QSO on uh, the QO100. Over. Oh, 100. Wow, cool. Very cool. November to Romeo Juliet, Delta Ocean 7, uh, Papa Sugar Lima. 5959, five, go ahead. Okay, Delta Ocean 7, Papa Sugar Lima. Um, very nice to work you, and uh, I'm going to put you in my logbook here. Um, I have to figure out how to do it. But uh, yeah, you're 5'9 here into Munich, and um, uh, let's see. Let me get your. It's a little nervous for me because it's the first time I've done it. Could you give me your call sign again, please? Over. Okay, yes, Delta Oscar 7, Papa Sugar Lima. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, this is very nice. We're located here at the, the Roden Schwartz uh, uh, headquarters here in Munich. And um, we have our uh, gracious host here giving me my first contact on the QO100 satellite. And I'm also going to hopefully make this into a YouTube video. <laughs> 
but it's very nice here. We're here visiting Ham Radio Friedrichshafen and also my first time in Germany. Uh, over. Uh, oh. Okay, thank you, uh, Delta Ocean 7 Papa Sugar Lima. This is Delta Lima Stroke November 2, Romeo Juliet. Okay, thank you, and uh, very much uh, 73. Thank you, 73. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good luck. Okay, um, anybody else? This is uh, Delta Lima Stroke N2RJ, Delta Lima Stroke November 2, Romeo Juliet. Okay, I got Papo Echo One Radio Boston, Florida. Um, please go ahead. Um, please go. Yeah, Roger. Good morning, Ria. This is Papa Echo One Radio Boston, Florida. Name here is Theo. Send out Hotel Echo Oscar, Roger. Okay, Theo. Um, uh, very nice to work here. It's the first time on the satellite here. And um, very nice uh, to work you here. My name is Ria, Romeo India Alpha, and I'm here with my friends from the United States and a gracious host here in Germany. Um, this is my first time in Germany, and I went to the Ham Radio Friedrichshafen, and uh, very nice here. You're five nine here into the QO 100. Over. I got a pile up. Okay, Roger, Roger. Thank you. And uh, 73, I'm going to work a few more because I have a few other operators. I want to give the chance for QSO here. And um, I'm very pleased. I'm, I'm hoping one day we can get this in the United States. Otherwise, I'm going to have to make other trips to Germany <laughs> and other countries. Or maybe Brazil. I've heard you can do it in Brazil. Okay, 73, BL stroke N2RJ. Okay, Roger. Okay, Thank you very much for the nice show as well. And nice to have a voice by the one I always need a picture of. Okay, bye bye. So I ended up getting a whole bunch of stations worked, and um, um, well, probably like 10 or so, which is a whole lot for me and in the limited time. But it, they, this was phenomenal. I really enjoyed working this, and I wish we had this in America. Um, with the highlight of contact, unfortunately, I don't think I got it on video, was a guy in India. So the last um, contact I made was a guy in India. And it was pretty wild. I mean, um, you know, you see this, the footprint of the satellite. You see it goes all the way to India. It goes to Thailand. And um, apparently it, it goes somewhere up to St. John's, Newfoundland, right just below the horizon. So you might be able to do it. All in all, I had a good time with this. And I think I'll, um, you know, want to do it again sometime. Um, maybe, um, I don't know, I might try to make a setup and put it out in my suitcase and go camping somewhere <laughs> in Europe again. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah, so this was all the contacts we made here. You see Rosie holding it up. Rosie from ARDC. And um, she also operated, but um, of course, um, she had to have uh, somebody do the control operation for her. And she used a DL0RUS call sign. That was pretty neat. 
So what can I say? This was certainly a new experience for me, and I'm sure it's a new one for a lot of you. So um, if ever you're in Europe and you have the opportunity, or in India, or in somewhere else, in, um, I don't know, in, in uh, eastern Brazil, I think even Sao Paulo, you can actually get on and, um, and do it. I think, well, my geography is all off, but, you know, so this is good. Anyway, this is another one from Friedrich Schaffen. And from Germany and uh, really nice to have you along for the ride until next time I have a few more videos coming I'll see you around peace in 73